Hello, hello, my friend. This is Archbishop Ken McNabb from Global Harvest International Fellowship in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm so glad that I can come to you today and share principles from the Word of God. And oh, do I have something good to share with you today. But just before I do that, I want to remind you about our upcoming international conference later in the year. It's going to be August 6, 7, and 8 right here in Atlanta, Georgia. We would love for you to come and be a part. During the day sessions, uh, oh, they're power packed and they're especially designed for leaders, people that are leaders in the body of Christ, whether you're a five-fold ministry uh, individual or you're an elder or you're a deacon or you're a praise and worship leader. If you are a leader, if you function in a leadership capacity in the church, these sessions are a must for you. And others can come as well, but it's specifically designed for that. And then in the evenings, it's open for everybody and the glory of God comes down as we have amazing praise and worship, tremendous special guests as psalmists and people that minister in the arts. And then the Word of God, it comes forth in power and the Spirit of God falls like rain. We want you to plan to be a part. Go to our website. Check it out, eaglesgathering.net. We hope you'll go there and you'll check it out because it's going to be tremendous. Again, that's August 6, 7, and 8. I'm going to be looking for you. I, I want to go to a passage of Scripture today that's found in the book of Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 35. And uh, this is what the Scripture says. Uh, matter of fact, I want to read verses 35 and 36. It says... For whoever finds me finds life and receives favor from the Lord. Now, you got to understand who is speaking here is the wisdom of God. The wisdom of God is the Word of God. The Word of God is the wisdom of God. And the wisdom of God, the Word of God say, whoever finds me finds life and receives favor from the Lord. But whoever fails to find me harms himself. In other words, what happens is when you fail to pursue the wisdom of God, you set yourself up for an unfavorable atmosphere and environment. As a result of that, the wisdom of God does not readily flow because you do not have the direction that you need. See, favor will help you even with direction. Favor will help you to know the ways of life, to know the good path, to know the upper road. It will help you in that area. So it says here that if you find the Lord or if you find wisdom, then you're going to have blessing. So I'm going to ask you, have you found the Lord? Do you know His Word? Do you know that the wisdom of God is not only available to you, but it's coming to you on a regular basis? Somebody says, well, how can I have the wisdom of God? Well, the Bible said one way is you buy it. You buy wisdom. How do you buy wisdom? Well, you buy wisdom by buying a good Bible, buying good study references, or using the Internet uh, or, or programs that are available to study Scripture. You find wisdom by being able to listen to the preaching and the teaching of those who already have the mind of God and are delivering revelatory sermons. You also can get the wisdom of God through good books and good materials, CDs, DVDs, whatever, that have people preaching and teaching the principles of the Word of God. Not just preaching some emotional random hype, but preaching the Word of God. And if they preach and teach the Word of God, wisdom will begin to be released. Another way you get wisdom is through prayer. If any man lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives liberally. Listen to that. He gives liberally to those that ask Him. God's not a stingy God. God is a liberal God, and He wants to give good things to you. And one of those good things is favor which gives you a position of honor, a position of, uh, uh, of preference, and uh, uh, a preferred position. Oh, it's tremendous what happens 
when the favor of God begins to come on you. Somebody has said that one day of favor is better than a lifetime of labor. One day, one moment, when the favor of God hits your life, then suddenly things begin to explode for you that you can advance, that you can progress, that you can be promoted, that you can see those barriers and hindrances removed that have kept you from possessing the territory that rightfully belongs to you as a child of God. Now, notice what it says in the Amplified. Oh, I love this. In the 35th verse, it said, For whosoever finds me finds light and draws forth and obtains favor from the Lord. Draws forth is a, a, a symbolic phrase or term, uh, or term that would be used for drawing water out of a well. So you've got to do something. You, you draw up the favor of God by using your faith. See, faith without works is dead. Faith without a corresponding action is of no use. So you use your faith. You put your faith to work. And as you do that, the favor of God meets you at the point of your obedience and at the point of your faith action. Now watch this. The scripture tells us that in Romans chapter 10 verses 9 and 10, that if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and that God raised Him from the dead, you shall be saved. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So your words put you in position to receive a supernatural manifestation. Salvation comes through believing and through speaking. So if you really believe that favor is for you, if you believe the Word of God is true, and that God has given you an opportunity to draw out favor from the great well and the great reservoir of His loving kindness, then you can begin to experience it in your life. But you've got to believe it. You've got to believe it, and you've got to speak it. You know what I started doing just recently, really? Every day, Every day, repeatedly, I decree the favor of God is on my life. The favor of God is working for me now. The sun and shield of the favor of God is helping me, is opening doors for me. Listen, we're living in a season of the double. Double completion, double favor, double blessing, double reward, double opportunities, double financial abundance, double doors opening. God is going to open doors for you in this season that have never been opened before. They may have resisted you in the past, but in this uncommon season, you will be irresistible. Now listen, you've got to speak. You've got to get rid of that defeated mentality, the mentality that said, well, other people have that, but I can't have that. That is a lie that was spawned in hell and the devil see he don't want you to even hear what I'm saying today because if you really hear this faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God you're gonna rise up and take a new position and you're gonna have a new condition so God is gonna release some good things in your life for his honor his praise and his glory Proverbs 18 21 says the power of life and death are in the tongue and we eat the fruit of what we speak so determine to speak life, determine to speak favor, determine to speak and to decree the good things of God are coming upon me in abundance. And I promise you, it'll change your attitude, it'll change your atmosphere and your environment, and it'll cause people to begin to walk with you that have never walked with you before. Father, I release my faith and I decree in the name of Jesus that today, my friend is rising up with confidence. They're rising up with assurance that the good God of heaven has put favor on them, favor around them, favor inside of them, and they are undeniably blessed of the Lord. I love you. I thank God for you. And as always, we encourage you to follow us on our social network, if you ever have prayer requests, please, please let us know. You can get all of our email information and everything by going to our website. 
You can also find out uh, other things that's happening with Global Harvest International Fellowship. Also, you can have an opportunity to sow into good soil that is spreading the good news of Jesus to the world and to the nations. So I hope you'll do that today. Go right now, check out the website, and uh, we'll, we'll be looking forward to hearing from you. And until next time, as always, our desire is, may God's best be yours.